Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Now, ahead of the election, the Congress Party's central leadership is upset with the bickering within the Punjab Congress unit. The rift between Punjab Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu and the Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani still continues. Sidhu once again has targeted the Chief Minister in the appointment of the Advocate General and the DJP. Top party sources are telling CNN News 18 that the central leadership is expected to come up with a resolution within the next 24 hours. Meanwhile, Deputy Chief Minister Sujinder Singh Randhawa's son-in-law has been appointed the new additional AG of Punjab and the opposition is now targeting the Chief Minister over this appointment, calling it nepotism. A new investigation court has said with directions that the court has been made in 7 months. Today, it's कितने चार सीट सवाल ही नहीं है 119 नंबर दे बेचे प्राइम अक्यूज कौन है ते जे ओ सक्यूज नू ब्लैंकेट बेल मिली हुई है ते इन्वेस्टिगेशन किमें कंप्लीट हो जड़े पैरेडार ने जड़े नवे नवे लाए ने पूछो एसएलपी पाई जो पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है आपके सन इन लॉ को के अपॉइंटमेंट को लेकर ऐसे ऐसे तो चलती रहती है जी कि अगर एडवोकेट है तो कितनी उसकी स्टैंडिंग भी देखी और कोर्ट केस भी देखने चाहिए ठीक है नहीं तो अपॉइंटमेंट में कोई पॉलिटिकल फेवरिंग हुई है पॉलिटिकल अपॉइंटमेंट किया जी एजी ने लेकर भेजा उन्होंने लगा दिया 13 साल उसकी स्टैंडिंग है 500 से ज्यादा उसके पास केसेस अभी भी पेंडिंग है तो आप ये कह रहे हैं कि वो डिजर्व करता है और ये पॉलिटिकल इंटरफेरेंस नहीं है देखिए देखिए इसका मतलब मेरा बेटा एडवोकेट और उसको कभी कोई चीज मिलेगी तो वो डिजर्व नहीं करता है तो उसकी यही भी है कि वो बेटा है डिस्कलिफिकेशन तो उसकी यही हुई ना कि बेटा है पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज जैसे आप आप तो करते रहते हैं जी let me go across to our senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh, who is joining us on the phone line. Pallavi, good morning. What are sources within the party telling you? Could we see the AG being replaced? That's a possibility which cannot be ruled out, Rajima. But one thing I can say is that the central leadership has sent Harish Chaudhary, who is the state in charge. And the message was very clear from the centre that we cannot have a public bickering over the appointment of the AG. So you have to take a call either which way, which is easier said than done, frankly speaking. See, AG's continuance is something which is the prerogative of the chief minister to be seen as buckling under pressure from Navjot Singh Sidhu, who would, of course, weaken his stature. But on the other hand, the points which are being raised by Sidhu in his opposition to DOL as AG are also very valid and that is something which is reused by the opposition uh, do you know, in a, when, as we move into the campaign for Punjab elections. Pallavi, the, if this does happen then, two questions. Uh, what does this mean for Chief Minister Chani and the position that he holds? And secondly, what does this mean for the party in terms of optics, uh, uh, especially for a state that's up for polls? Yeah, one remembers the UP and UPA two times. There are many decisions which were taken by Dr. Manmohan Singh as the Prime Minister were either rolled back or overturned because of party pressure. And what happened? It ended up making him look weak and this was what the BJP did, kept on calling him a weak Prime Minister. That pretty much could be the situation with Chani if all his decisions are reversed because the party wants him to do so and in this case Sidhu wants him to do so. So thereby lies the dilemma uh, before the central leadership and also, also explains why uh, there doesn't seem to be as of now any meeting ground between the two sides but after yesterday's meeting one expects that there will be some kind of peace which will be brokered and a resolution within 24 hours. Pallavi thanks for getting us all those details. Some breaking details now coming in and this is what we're picking up as part of sources telling CNN News 18 that the Prime Minister to be in pole-bound state of Uttar Pradesh four times this month in Sultanpur, Jhansi, Lucknow and Chevar. So the battle for Uttar Pradesh is on and uh, the Prime Minister himself will be in the state four times this month in Sultanpur, Jhansi, Lucknow and Chevar. Our senior editor Aman is getting us all these details. Aman, good morning. What are you picking up? See, uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh remains the most prestigious battle going into the election season in another few months. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, what we're picking up, is going to pick up his visits now. The pace of these visits is going to be on 16th November in Sultanpur to inaugurate the Purvanchal Expressway. This is the longest expressway in the state. 
and this is a project for which Prime Minister had laid the foundation stone in 2018. Then on 19th November, PM is expected in Jhansi on the birth anniversary of Rani Lakshmi Bai. He'll be going to the Jhansi port. He'll be also unveiling a lot of development schemes like the Har Ghar Jal scheme, the Jhansi node of the defense corridor. So this will be a big, big pitch to Bundel Khan. Uh, what we are also picking that PM may go straight from Jhansi to Lucknow uh, the same day and be a part of the DGP's conference on the 20th of November in Lucknow, where Mr. Amit Shah will also be present. And then again, the PM is going to go on the 25th November to Greater Noida to lay the foundation stone of the Noida International Airport, which is another big prestigious project of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, not just this, even in December, Uttar Pradesh government is proposing repeated trips of the Prime Minister for various development projects. The first one would be the lay PM laying the foundation stone of the Ganga Expressway, which is from Meerut to Prayagraj. This could happen in December. Then PM is also expected in Varanasi in December to inaugurate the Kashi Vishwanath Corridor, again a project whose foundation stone was, was laid by the PM a couple of years back. And then uh, UP government is also proposing a visit of the PM to Gorakhpur next month to you know unveil the new aims and the new fertilizer plant, which are two major projects for the Gorakhpur region. So a series of visits by the PM in November and December are expected to UP, and clearly the BJP is, you know, putting its, uh, hmm. its biggest uh, trump card in a way, uh, or uh, sending uh, the PM coming to UP. He's, he's done. This will all be government uh, uh, trips, government uh, announcements, and government uh, projects, which will be unveiled. And all this is going to be done before the model code of conduct uh, comes into place later in December and the first week of January. Okay, yeah. Aman, thanks for getting us all those details. Shifting focus, news coming in from the vaccine space. While India eyes its mission jab for all, the center says that more than 15 crore COVID vaccines are lying unused with states and union territories due to few takers and the second dose hesitancy. Now, the government has provided more than 116 crore vaccine doses to states and over 108 crore vaccine doses have been administered so far. Several doses lie unused in hospitals across the country. The Maharashtra government is worried about stockpiling doses as vaccination rates, namely for the second dose drop. My colleague Vinaya gets us this report. Empty driveway, empty chairs. I am at India's first drive-in vaccination center, which wears a completely deserted look. Uh, the center started on 4th of May 2021. And this, the, this was the first drive-in centre in whole of the nation. And our uh, vaccination centre, which is uh, upward on the upper floor, uh, there, are, there is also uh, very less response because the vaccination uh, coverage is also improved. And that's why the reason that uh, response is very low. And now you can see the response that we have almost uh, shut down the centre because there are no vehicle is coming, no people, no people are coming for the vaccination. Maharashtra still has over 14,000 active COVID cases with a high mortality rate. But here's what's really worrying the state government. Over 3.12 crore people in Maharashtra are completely unvaccinated. Close to 74% have taken their first jab, but only 34% have taken their second dose. This at a time when the state health department is sitting on a stockpile of vaccines. The state is having a sufficient quantity of vaccine, about 83 lakh doses of COVID ship and 12 lakh doses of co-vaccine. In the past few days, there was less pace in the vaccination drive. And the reasons were the harvest season, heavy rainfall in some of the areas, and also the festival season. I am confident that the state will be achieving 100% for those by the end of the month. Crore people have taken their first jabs in Maharashtra, while three crore people have completed both the doses. But now, with a lull in the number of vaccinations, the chief minister has given a target of 100% vaccination for at least the first dose by 30th of November. With video journalist Nitin Sonawne, this is Vinaya Deshpande from Mumbai. So let's break down the big vaccination numbers. So how many people have been inoculated so far? And what's the breakup as far as the first and the second dose is concerned? Now, there were 116 crore doses that were provided to states. How many are lying unused and vacant currently? There are about 15.6 crore doses 
that are lying unused. Let's break down the math in terms of how many people have got the first and second dose. 79% adults have got at least one dose. But now the big challenge is to try and expedite the speed for the second dose. Only 37% adults have gotten both the dose. And thus what we have is a stockpile of unused vaccine. The center, of course, has an ambitious target to ensure that by the end of this year, every adult is vaccinated with both the doses because uh, you know we still have cases that are being reported across the country. Maharashtra for one example as we just played out this ground report there are vaccination centers that are now being shut down simply because people are not turning up. So what really is happening? Is hesitancy still a big concern and what can state governments really do? As I said the big challenge now after India crossed that milestone of 100 crore jabs, the big challenge now is to ensure that people People who haven't gotten the second dose should come forward and take their jab. Vinaya is joining us with more details. Vinaya, good morning. We saw your ground report that came in from Maharashtra. What is the big challenge? What is the reason that people are not turning up? Is it still hesitancy? And what is the plan of the state government? Well, as of now, the state government plans to do door-to-door -door vaccinations, at least in those areas where the vaccination record is not as good as we have seen that lacks of doses are lying with the state government primarily because there are several people who have missed their doses. So while 74% of uh, the eligible population has already taken the first dose, now the state government has been given the target of 100% vaccination for at least the first dose uh, for all the eligible age groups by the 30th of November. What does it mean? This means that the vaccination drive will be intensified at several places, also considering the fact that only 34% of the uh, eligible population has still taken the second dose. The other concern that has been uh, doing for the last few months and for which uh, Maharashtra still awaits the center's nod is the question of the booster doses because while uh, there are several vaccine doses that lie uh, ideal with the state government, on the other hand, there are also several frontline workers who have taken both their doses quite a few months ago and are now again vulnerable and so there is a request from them uh, that they should be allowed to take booster dose at least. And that is why while the frontline workers wait for a nod on the booster doses, the government is trying to request people to come to the vaccination centers and to complete their vaccination processes. Because remember, for the last one month, we have seen incessant drains yeah. uh, in the rural areas because there was, uh, you know, farming-related activities. Now there were festivities. Uh, vaccination has taken a back seat in the state as of now. Vinaya, thanks for getting us all those details. Time for us to slip into 